Welcome back. <laughs> Wish Let's carry that conversation. Out the air. <laughs> Sometimes the best stuff is in the commercial. Welcome back to the program. We'll try to keep it up today. Uh, Andrew, we saw Pat Narduzzi come out the other day with four yeah. suspensions, including Jordan Whitehead. What's your, uh, what's your take on this uh, and what it does to Pitt? I mean, we've for, you know, driving under the influence when he was not yet 21. Um, you know, Rory Blair. So there are some incidents here. Uh, that have not even come with a three-game suspension. So it makes you think that what these guys did, uh, awfully severe. And I think it doesn't bode well for Pitt. Look, I mean, they're two stiffest challenges, as I see it, are Penn State. And now you're going to take your best defensive playmaker off the field. They were already, I think, only bringing back four starters on defense. And last I checked, Devontae Maddox will be the only returning starter for those two big games. So I anticipate one and two, and I think the game in State College will be a massacre. I don't think the opener's a gimme either. That's a pretty good team. Anyway, go ahead. Well, I mean, this is a past defense that finished, what, 128th in the country last year. Now you're going to lose your best playmaker uh, against a t team that was Well, he's their Palomalu, right? Jack of all trades. Well, I mean, you know, they, they were what? Penn State was, what, a drop pass away from coming back to win that game next year. I mean, Trace McSorley is probably already, you know, frothing at the bit a little bit. However, I mean, look, you got to get – I, we don't know. I don't know this. I'll admit, I do not know the specifics of what happened. Uh, it must have been pretty severe because I imagine Pat writing those, you know, that second game, the, the Penn State game, the Oklahoma State game, that was, was probably not an easy decision and one that might hurt them in the short term, but who knows? I mean, maybe it gets him, maybe it gives him credibility in the locker room and in the community long term. I just think about it like if one guy got a DUI and it was like a mini sort of police chase sort of thing and ran into a building and he got one game, ran into a car with a building. What did those guys do to get two, two games? And one guy kicked off. Like, imagine that. I, I don't even begin to imagine what they did. But what I know is that the, the real outcome of this is that line is definitely going to move. Not the line on the side of the ball, but the line in Vegas for that Penn State. Well, don't you think, Will, you say credibility. What gets Pat Narduzzi credibility here is beating Penn State. I mean, to me, they well, he beats Penn State without, you know, with the, if the defense turns out to be a hot mess like it was, you know, pretty much most of last year, then he does get credit. But, uh, you know, look, I mean, sometimes kids put you in tough spots, and I, I, this could not have been an easy decision. I'm sure he tried to find a million different permutations to not go to three right. games. He obviously, he could, I mean, I covered Florida once where Ron Zook suspended a guy for the Vanderbilt game. There was a hurricane. The Vanderbilt game got postponed, and the kid played the next week against LSU. And when we asked him why, he said, oh, well, that's because, you know, I suspended him for the Vanderbilt game. Okay, <laughs> so these coaches do get creative when they, with discipline when they have to. And Pat, Pat didn't in this case. And, you know, it might hurt it. Like I said, this, it, it's going to hurt the team, obviously, in September. But who knows? We're going to take, yeah, we're gonna take a break here. When we come back, Connor Sheary's on the table. We signed a new deal. Was it too much? Does that mean he's here, or could they use him as trade bait for a center? We'll talk about that when we come back right here on the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown.